Final score here tonight inside the Vine Center. The Duke Blue Devils defeat the Liberty Lady Flames 98 to 38. Alongside Kelly Dayo, my name is Nick Pierce. As we put a lid on our coverage here tonight, the Liberty men's team getting its season underway behind us here as well. But Kelly, early on, this game was uh, very different looking than what the final score showed. Lady Flames actually had a lead in that first quarter before things started to kind of slip away. You know, and I told the coaches and some of the players, I said, you watch that first quarter on repeat. And you, you've got to gain some confidence from that. They came into this game and really, you know, I think handed it to Duke. They just did a great job offensively. They didn't look scared. This is a new team. I mean, they lost all five starters from last year's right. team, eight newcomers, seven of whom are freshmen. And they just came in with nothing to lose and very kind of a laissez-faire attitude and, and, and got things done. And, of course, that changed after that first quarter. Yeah, both teams shot 50% in that first quarter, and then the Lady Flames went one of 16 in the second quarter. Looked like when Duke got a little bit of a lead there, maybe Liberty started to kind of force some things a little bit. Well, I think that's been sort of the Achilles heel for Liberty in the past few years as well, is just not able, not being able to really handle pressure and making those unforced turnovers. Unfortunately, there were 30 turnovers that Liberty had, and Duke was able to capitalize on quite a few of those. And, um, and you know, it's just a situation, I think, where you have a young team, you have a team like Duke, 11th in the country, coming in on your home floor. You know, the... the I think it's obvious that you want to play well on the front end, but I think just as the time goes, things start to get away from you and you start going back to old habits. And, and this is a new team that just doesn't know each other yet. And I think you've got to give them time to come together and sync. And, um, but I, I believe that this is going to be a very good team down the stretch. And I don't think that the girls or the coaches, you know, really have anything to worry about after this first loss. Yeah, as you said, eight newcomers on this year's squad. And, after the ball game, we had a chance to catch up with head coach Kerry Green and some of those Lady Flames. Well, uh, I think we started off really well, uh, being focused in the game and the details that uh, we need we needed to take care of, and we understood that. And uh, like a young team, uh, sometimes they look like superstars one minute, and next next moment it's sort of gloomy. Um, you know, I, I don't think I've had the team really prepared where they they should be uh, in in. A lot of it is going to be how they respond from this. And uh, it was a big challenge game. It was an uh, opportunity for us to truly be assessed in, uh, assessed in certain areas. And uh, uh, we got a lot of work on uh, in, in front of us. And, uh, you know, they certainly got a good team and they exploited any, any mistakes we've made. And, uh, but a lot of young talent that uh, they all competed and played very hard and uh, – a, a lot of areas that we got to continue to work on. From this one, I know we got to be intentional, intentional about what we do, and focus on the details of like rebounding and boxing out on a shot, and you know just playing at a high level. We, I think we started strong. We had a lot of intensity. Um, I think we lost that going forward. Um, you know, our shots weren't hitting, and that was affecting us on defense. And um, you know, we just got to like keep focused, even if we don't make a shot the entire quarter you know we got to be able to get back and play hard at defense yeah you know it's always hard uh getting so many new players on one team and working out you know how to how to play with them but i'm really excited about this group of girls um i think you know you can see in the first quarter if we put it together it can work really well um so we just got to figure out how to you know make that um something that we can keep for an entire game going forward. Lady Flames were led in scoring tonight by Molly Reagan with nine points, also nine for Ola Makarot as well. And then, of course, Duke led in scoring by Rebecca Greenwell. Their top returning scorer, she had 28 points tonight. She was a real problem, obviously, for the Lady Flames from a defensive standpoint. All right, well, put this one to bed. Let's look ahead. Tuesday, James Madison comes to town. Another very tough team, in-state opponent, but obviously the level of play will be a little bit more closer to what the Lady Flames are accustomed to. Well, and absolutely. This is actually a team that Liberty played very poorly against last season, so I think there's a little bit in there where they really want to put together a good game on their home floor. But JMU is an outstanding team. They're one of those high mid-major teams. They actually lost their coach, longtime coach Kenny Brooks, who went to Virginia Tech this year. They're being taken over by their longtime assistant. So it's not really a new team in terms of what they're running and things. But, you know, you've got a new head coach. There's going to be probably a few new wrinkles. But Liberty, of course, that's a new team as well. So it's going to be hard for either team to scout. And, and I think Liberty will be very ready for this JMU opponent, especially after hopefully some things that they learned here in the Duke game. 
No doubt about it. So that will be 5 o'clock on Tuesday. Liberty and James Madison front end of another, another doubleheader with the Liberty men's team. Liberty men taking on VCU Tuesday night here after the conclusion of the women's game. For Kelly Deo, my name is Nick Pierce from the Vine Center. Final score again, 98-38. Duke wins it over Liberty.